Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video is a very exciting vlog because it is the first video of my little holiday series. We are going on quite a few trips this year so I am going to do like a little playlist of my travel vlogs for this year. But we are actually heading off this week in a couple of days on our mystery holiday. So we did do a voucher mystery holiday for all of you that don't know. And we fly on Sunday, we do know where we're going, but I will post the video from the holiday um the next video after this one so you'll find out where we are going to in that video we are going somewhere sunny which i'm really excited about we're going for four days so we're going sunday to wednesday and i am currently just prepping for the holiday as you can see i'm very pale i'm in desperate need of some fake tan i actually haven't had fake tan on for about a week and a half so i cannot wait to get some fake tan onto my bod because this is just not a vibe. I have been pampering this morning. I've washed my hair, which is why it's wet, why well, it's quite damp at the minute. I have shaved. I have started to moisturise. I've just moisturised my legs. This is going to sound very bizarre considering that I'm going on a summer holiday, but I've been using the vanilla pumpkin body butter <laughs> from last year. I forgot how nice this smells and it just makes me... It just reminds me of autumn. I am an autumn gal. We all know that here. I love autumn and winter, but I am incredibly excited for summer. But I just thought I would use this because I love the body butters from the body shop. I actually can't stop smelling this. It smells so good, but I've just popped it on my legs um in preparation for my fake tan later on this evening and i thought i would do a little bit of skincare. My skin hasn't been great this week, which is just sods law. Whenever I have something planned, like a holiday or an event or anything like that, my skin breaks out. It's like it knows and it's just trying to like wind me up. So I'm going to pop on a face mask, which is this one, the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb, Super Hydrating and Glow Reviving to get a little bit of moisture back in my skin because it's also been quite dry and just make my face look super glowy. I'm also going to tint my eyebrows. I picked up a top up the other week of the Isla Dye Brow. This is my favourite eyebrow tint ever. So easy to use and it literally takes a few minutes to tint your eyebrows. I get mine in dark brown. I don't leave it on for very long because my eyebrows are naturally quite fair and I find that if I leave it on for too long they go way too dark. I'm going to pop my hair in my heatless curler no, for no particular reason to be honest because tomorrow I'm not really doing anything. But I just want to put my hair up in my curler. I haven't used it for a few days. Maybe like half a week. And I really want to use it. I want to have nice bouncy hair tomorrow. And then I think tomorrow I'm going to pack. I have briefly looked at everything that I'm going to take. I do think that I can fit it in this bag. <laughs> I've done a trial run. So for all of you that don't know. If you're new here or you haven't heard me mention it. We are flying with Wizz Air. Which... I had never really heard of them before and it's with just a under seat bag that's what it's called and the dimensions are like I can't remember remember what it was I think it's like 40 by 25 by 30 or something so I bought a bag off of TikTok shop which was the exact dimensions that we needed and I have sort of trialed it but I didn't put everything in there so I'm really hoping that I can fit everything. I've planned out my outfits. So we will pack together tomorrow and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna fit all of this in. I was thinking about using like those Shein bags, but I feel like it's just gonna take up more space than it's saving because of the air that gets trapped in the bag. So I'm not even gonna bother doing that. I'm just gonna roll up my clothes. So yeah, I thought I would just do a little prep with me video. I really hope that you enjoy it. Don't forget to give it a like. If you do also subscribe to my channel if you're new. First up, I'm going to use my sheet mask. I love these, but they do make you look quite scary. I always find it makes my face look so puffy when it's on. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back with you when I tint my eyebrows. I'll quickly show you how. I have shown it on my channel before, but this is part of the process of getting ready for the holiday. I got my nails done literally like a week and a half ago, so I didn't need to get those done. And it works out really well, actually, because the next time I get my nails done will be just before we go to Lake Como in May. So we get back off of this holiday, and then I literally think a couple of weeks later, 
we go to Italy. So I'm gonna go like full pamper for that because Lake Como just looks stunning. And I just feel like if I don't pamper myself, I'm not gonna fit in. Yeah, I'll be back with you once I've done my face mask and then we will tint my eyebrows together. Okay, face mask is done. I'm now going to tint my brows. So if you haven't used this before, it literally comes with a cream color, which is obviously the color. And then you also have the activator cream as well in this little tube here. This is what it looks like. So you've got a little middle section that you can put the color into and then apply it. And you've also got a little brush too. Now, I think this has changed since the last pack that I had because this actually lasts me so long. But I'm sure that the other packet had the cream, not the cream, it had the activator, but it was in like a liquid. So hopefully it works the same way. I'm just going to see how much you actually need to mix together. Because I used to do just a few drops of the activator and then mix it with the cream. So it says mix one centimetre of colour cream with one centimetre of activating cream. So I'm just going to mix it quickly now and then apply it. Okay, so once you've mixed it, you'll have like a little um, patch of colour and you can literally just start to apply it to your brows. Now, this won't be the final colour. It looks quite light in here actually, but um, obviously as it develops, it gets darker. So I'm going to make sure that I keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't go too dark. And I literally just apply it to obviously where my natural eyebrow is. As I said, I've got quite fair eyebrows, so I can sort of get away with being a little bit messy with it. But I try and keep it as close to my eyebrow shape as possible. We've also just um, checked in on the Wiz Air website as well. So with the Woucher Mystery Holiday, you don't actually have allocated seats. You have to add that on. And we just thought we'd risk it and um, me and Callum are actually sat next to each other and Jazz and Rob are sat next to each other, but we're not sat together. So we're on separate rows, which will be fine. It's not a long flight and it's nice that like we've been sat as couples because it's not always guaranteed. So I am really happy that we got sat together, me and Callum, because I actually don't know how I would be if I was sat on my own, like I feel like my anxiety would be in overdrive. Like I would do it because I would just force myself to, but I wouldn't be comfortable. I would be probably freaking out quite a lot, but it's good that we're together. And I didn't actually know that you could do that. Like whenever we've had flights, I've always like paid for the seat allocation. And I didn't realize that when you like check in, you can get like random seat allocation. I didn't realize that. I feel like I should have known that, but I didn't. But I do now. Okay, so my eyebrows are now on. I'm gonna leave this to develop for a little bit and then I'll show you what it looks like after. It's applying a little bit differently this time than the last one. I'm not sure if that's because the last activator was liquid. So it was a bit more like liquidy. This one's more like a cream this time, but hopefully it works the same. I'm just going to leave it on for the normal amount of time and we're going to see. So eyebrows are now tinted. They actually turned out so well. They went really dark very quick. Um, but I think I took it off just at the right time. I've just um, gone around it with my... What are they called? My Dermaplan blade. I don't really like plucking my eyebrows. And to be honest, I don't need to because they're so fair. So I've literally just gone round them to shape them with this. And it works really nicely. So I've just shaped the ends of my eyebrows because they tend to be the bits that go like bushy. I don't have very bushy eyebrows, which I wish I did. I wish I had a bit more brow to work with. But yeah, I'm really happy with them. My face is looking really glowy. I'm really liking it. I feel like I'm going to wake up tomorrow and my spots should have gone. I don't know about anyone else as well, but I use fake tan on my face. Now, I normally either use the Pure one by Bondi Sands or I use a mixture. So I'll mix this with a tiny little bit of the Molly May filter one. And I find that my skin looks so much clearer when I've applied fake tan. I don't know why it is, but that just happens. So I feel like tomorrow I'm going to wake up and my skin is going to look a lot better. Although it's not looking terrible. It's just there's quite a few blemishes that have come up 
this week mainly on my chin and like around this area here but it's probably because normally this would be my time of the month like i would have literally just come off but i don't actually get periods at all because of the pill that i'm on and also i wasn't very well last week so that might be why as well so now that's done there's not really much else i have to do apart from i'm gonna fake tan a bit later on and I'm also going to do some teeth whitening, but I might do that tomorrow. So I'll speak to you guys later when I do my fake tan. I always use at the moment the filter by Molly May fake tan. This is in the shade dark. And oh my goodness, the difference is just unreal. So I'll show you a before and after later. I also have her mitt as well. It's very dirty because I've used it so much now. But I really, really like this. I've tried quite a lot of fake tan mitts and this one is really good. I love the band around the wrist because it's really tight and it just works really nicely. So I'm going to use that a bit later on. And then all that will be left to do is pack, which I'm going to do with you tomorrow. So I will speak to you guys a little bit later on. Hair is up in my curler. I'm just about to do my fake tan finally. I can't wait to look more tanned. <laughs> So as I said earlier, this is the fake tan that I'm gonna be using. It's the filter by Molly May in dark. Um, I'm actually allergic to the extra dark fake tan in like all fake tans. So I have to use dark. And then I'm also going to use my Bondi Sands Pure for my face and probably a little bit of the Molly May fake tan as well on my face too. So this is currently <laughs> the situation. I'm gonna do my fake tan now off camera and then I'll show you what I look like afterwards and then I'll also show you in the morning when I've washed it off. So yeah, I can't wait to just not look like a ghost. Okay, fake tan is on. This is what it's looking like after immediately applying it. I've put the pure one on my face. The pure one doesn't actually have any colour until I wake up in the morning. It like develops overnight. And it's also transfer proof, I think. Because it never turns my pillows. And I've got white pillowcases. Never stains them. Never turns them a different colour. So I really like that about that. So yeah, it is going to look a lot darker in the morning. I've applied quite a lot to be fair. Because I am going on holiday. So it's now time for bed. I've got very bloodshot eyes. I'm very tired. So I will see you in the morning. Good morning everybody. It's now the next day. I've literally just washed off my fake tan. This is what it looks like. I like the fact that my face is a little bit lighter. I don't like it when my face goes too dark. Um, I feel like it makes my face look a bit weird when it goes too dark. I don't know if that makes sense, but I really like the colour that I have turned out. <laughs> I'm now going to do my makeup because I am filming um, a TikTok today. As I mentioned yesterday, I'm going to film like a little pack with me, but I am also going to pack with you too. So I'll get to that in a minute once I've finished getting ready. I'm just going to pop on some of my skincare, do my makeup. Um, obviously my hair is out. So yeah, very good day. Fake tans turned out good, which is great. And I'm just going to do my makeup and then I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so this is everything that I am going to try and take with me on our holiday. So I've got a pair of flip flops from Primark and also a pair of sandals from Primark. These are more like chunky ones and I love them, but I also really like these. Then over here I have my GoPro, my camera battery charger. I'm also going to be taking my camera that I'm filming on right now and my tripod. I'm going to be taking a book to read on the beach. I've got a bikini from Cupshe. This is the one that I picked out. I had so many bikinis to choose from, but I really wanted to go for more like a bright colour and I really love this one. Also got my bag, which I'm also going to try and pack, but I do have a very good idea for some of my makeup basically what I'm gonna do for the makeup that doesn't need to go in the liquid bag I'm gonna pop it in here to conserve space so hopefully that works I feel like it's gonna work really well and I've got a little beach cover-up which is from Shein it's just like a sheer black one and I really love that so that's a trouser and like a jacket set then this is one of my evening outfits it is a jumpsuit from Cup She. I've got a pyjama top which is from Pretty Little Thing. It's very similar to the one that I got from Primark. But my Primark one is in the wash so I'm going to take this one. And then a little pair of pyjama shorts which are from Primark. Then I've got a pair of cycling shorts which are from Boohoo. I love cycling shorts. I feel like they're really handy for holiday. 
and they don't take up a lot of space either which is great then i've got a little halter neck black top from primark again this doesn't take up a lot of space because it is quite cropped and there's just not a lot of fabric there so it doesn't take up a lot of room then i've got a little floaty white top which is also from primark i got this in my latest haul and again doesn't take up a lot of space and then i've got a cargo skirt which i really like this is going to be my day one outfit I have planned out my outfits so that I can properly pack so I'm not over packing but this does take up a little bit of room because it's denim but I'm just going to roll it up. Then I've got my heatless curler of course this means I don't need to take any like hair tools I don't need to take any straighteners or curlers nothing so this is really really good and a very good investment you are traveling with just under the seat bags. Now this is probably the thing that takes up the most room in my bag and it's my O poly dress this is going to be my e evening outfit for like one of the evenings but I really really love it and I couldn't leave it behind I've actually only ever worn this once on my birthday and I just wanted to get another use out of it because it is so beautiful then down here I've got a pair of eyelashes which I have used already but I've only used them once and I love these ones so I'm going to take them with me then I've got my wild deodorant. This is a very good tip. If you don't want to take up room in your liquid bag, definitely get a balm deodorant because they don't actually class as liquid. So I did invest in one of these. I have been wanting to try it for a while and it smells incredible. I got the coconut and vanilla scent and I absolutely love it. So that is coming with me. Then I've just got a little cleansing pad for taking off my makeup in the evening my hairbrush. I've got also a Bondi Sands brush for my instant tan because I am taking some like glowy instant tan with me. Then I've got my tripod for my GoPro and also for my phone to take photos in the evenings. This is such a good investment as well so really recommend that. I'll leave everything linked down below. Then I've just got my little tablets case. I need to just fill that up with my tablets my sunglasses in the box because I don't want to scratch them but this again is going to take up so much space I wish I didn't have to take the case but I really don't want to risk breaking them and then finally over here we have the makeup so this is all the makeup and products that I don't need to put into a liquids bag so obviously I've got my brushes I don't know if you can see but there is like a little plastic bag un underneath there that I'm going to put my brushes in so that they don't get product on the inside of my bag I've also got my beauty blender from Coco Cosmetics Cosmetics, my Trigwell powder puff, eyelash curlers, little brush for my eyebrows, my eyebrow pencil, my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, my eyebrow gel which is the pink honey glue, just a little eyeshadow palette from Primark, my Huda Beauty um, loose powder. So that is everything that is going to go into the black bag over there. And then this is my liquids bag. So I got these from Primark. I actually got a pack of three and this is the medium one. It works so well. I have already put everything in here to test that it fit and it does. And this is the exact dimensions for liquid bags as well, according to the airline. So I've got my instant tan, which is the Shimmer One Day Tan by Bondi Sands. This is incredible. It gives you the most gorgeous glow and I can't wait to wear this. I did wear it on my holiday last year to Mallorca and it just looked unreal. I've got my perfume because this is 30 mil. I've then also got my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter because could I go on holiday without this? I don't think so. I've then also got my cleanser and I popped it into one of these bottles which was from Primark. So my cleansing bottle is actually 150 mil, so I can't take it because obviously it's up to 100. So I just popped it into this little 30 mil bottle and it worked really well. And then I've just put a little label on it that says cleanser. So I thought that that was really good and obviously it saves space as well. Then I've got my lip balm. I've also got my prep mist. This is what I spray into the pink honey glue to kind of activate it. And it smells like coconut. It is so nice. Then I've got my foundation, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I've got a lip gloss from Primark. This is so good and it smells like a pina colada. Then I've got my Charlotte Tilbury highlighter, my Charlotte Tilbury blusher, my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer well contour wand got my bobby brown face base this is 50 mil then i've got my skin food Then i've got my mascara my blush by made by mitchell i sometimes swap between the charlotte tilbury and the made by mitchell one because i love the color of this one my eyelash glue my eyebrow pen 
This is a recent purchase, a um, Urban Decay All Nighter. I'd never tried this before, so I got one of the smaller ones because I also thought that I could take it on holiday because I think the full size is over 100 mil. So I just wanted to try it first. And I always tend to get the smaller ones to try stuff in case I don't like it. But actually, the first time I've used it was today. So I will keep you updated on what I think of that. And then finally, I've got my concealer. But I need to just tidy it up because it is a little bit messy around the lid. So yeah, that is everything that I'm taking with me. Obviously, there will be a few extra things like my phone charger. But I need to use that tonight. So I'm not going to pack it just yet. Callum's got the passports. So he's going to put that in his bag. And as far as I'm aware, that's pretty much it. So let's try and put it in this bag. So hit me up, you know it's all I'm waiting for. Oh, would you hit me up? I've been waiting my whole life. I've never felt this way I want to turn back time Save me some heartbreak Oh, would you stay Okay guys, bag is packed. I had to rejig it a little bit because I got to the end and it wouldn't all fit. Mainly it's this bag, but it is really handy because I need one bag for just carrying stuff around on the holiday. And it's got all of like my makeup brushes and stuff in there, as I mentioned earlier. So I have managed to fit it all in. The only thing I couldn't fit in was my sunglass case, but I've got the little bag, so I'm just going to be super careful and just keep it on top. I don't know if I'll wear them because it's not going to be sunny tomorrow in the UK. And when we get to the other side, it's actually going to be in the evening. So the sun will probably have gone. But I'm just going to be super careful with them. But yeah, got my liquid bag, got my bag in there. Everything is packed apart from obviously my toothbrush, which I'm going to put in in the morning. And my phone charger and adapters. But I think I'm going to be really cheeky and wear a bum bag underneath my <laughs> hoodie. That does worry me a little bit, but I think I might try it. Otherwise, I'll just put everything in my pockets of my tracksuit that I'm wearing to the airport. We'll see. But yeah, I'm really happy that I've got everything in there. I've actually got a lot in there. I'll just show you my list because I made a list on my phone of everything that I need. So in there, I've got hairbrush, bikini, sandals, heatless curler. My foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer, primer, eyebrow glue and spray, highlighter, eyebrow pencil and pen, eyeshadow, mascara, false lashes, eyelash glue, powder, makeup brushes, sponge, powder puff, lipstick, lip liner. So that's all of the makeup that I've managed to fit in there, which is unreal. Um, oat cleansing balm, flannel, underwear, pyjama top and shorts, denim skirt, two day tops, beach trousers, and I also fit in my beach um, jacket. Oh, poly dress, black jumpsuit, cardigan and tracksuit I'm going to wear to the airport. So for the cardigan, it is quite chunky. So I just thought I'll wear it over my tracksuit tomorrow to save space. Perfume, one day tan, book. Um, I just need to put in my phone charger adapter. Um, Callum's got our passports. I'm going to wear my trainers to the airport sunglasses and cycling shorts and then I've got my outfits planned as well so yeah I'm actually really shocked that I managed to fit all of that in there and it does do up as well so this is what it looks like and then you've got the handles here so yeah I'm really impressed I do also have a little lock that I'm going to put on the zips here so this is the little lock that I've got Same from size, Primark Callum's got his little rucksack there. Yeah, I'd say that that's the same size. Me and my sister both picked one of these up because we thought it'd be really good for going on holiday if you've just got hand luggage. And obviously you just set your own passcode and yeah, it's really good. I think that this was like £1.80. It was really not expensive at all. But I'm actually really impressed I've managed to fit all that in there. Are you proud of me? No. <laughs> what do you mean no? Because you're silly. <laughs> You're dead in the camera, so you're silly. <laughs> you excited for holiday? No. Oh, okay. Apparently no is the favourite word today. 
do not want to go. Okay, well you can stay behind then. No. <laughs> no looking forward to it. Can't so wait. the plan is for tomorrow we're leaving at about 11 aren't we our flight is a bit later on in the afternoon like early evening so we are gonna leave super early so that we make sure that we get down there on time we don't want to have another mallorca fiasco where we don't get to eat before our flight because i had a very hangry boyfriend no, you didn't. are you joking you were so moody no, I wasn't okay so yeah, we're gonna make sure that we get down there um, relatively early. We are driving down and we're parking at the airport and then we're gonna board our flight. So I am gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video here, guys, because I need to edit it and I need to get it up for tomorrow for you, like scheduled. I'm actually not gonna be doing any work over there apart from vlogging for you. So I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a like if you did. Also subscribe if you're new. If you wanna find out where we're going, definitely watch the next video. I don't think it'll be up on Wednesday, it'll be up on Thursday um, because we get back on Wednesday and then I'll edit it for you and get it up for Thursday. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. We're very excited for the vlog. And we'll see you on Thursday. Love you guys so much. Bye.